What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today we'll be discussing Saturn in the 12th house. And if you don't know, the 12th house is the house of spirituality, it's the house of imagination, the house of isolation. It represents isolated places, things that get done behind the scenes. It represents um, foreign countries. So if you were born in America, you know, Europe, uh, Africa, Asia, these are foreign lands to you and vice versa. And Saturn is, this. the 12th house is a lot of things, okay? It's the um, it's part of the 612 axis, which is, you know, uh, charity and sacrifice, uh, service and sacrifice, I should say. And um, it represents a whole lot. Saturn is the planet of restrictions, discipline, organization, reality. It, um, it governs karma. Okay, so how your Saturn is placed gives a huge indication of the karma you've accumulated to this point. And the 12th house is also a karmic house. So, it's many ways to view this position. And of course, sign will always be key. So will aspects. But overall, there's a constant theme here because with it being um, a, a subconscious house, the person one probably doesn't feel uh connected to their family or they may feel like they need to break away from their family and in some some cases it's very much true now this can be for uh religious or spiritual reasons there's two types of or there's probably more than two but i give you two types of saturn and the 12 people uh the people who were born into this um very intense religious family okay that can be various religions but it was so much force and it, they were forced to be so disciplined about it that they didn't get to develop a natural love for it but i'll just to make a very good point here this can be opposite if the person has a very good Jupiter. Say their Jupiter, say their Saturn is in um, Sagittarius and ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter's in, you know, the ninth house. This can be the opposite of that. This can be someone who um, from early on is uh, very much uh, on top and serious about um, their religious beliefs. And Saturn in the 12th can make for, um, you know, nuns, priests, popes, reverends, but it's all in the makeup of the chart. Now, but but normally, you know, we're just going off of right here, just Saturn in the 12th, say that's there. It will make someone probably reject their family's um, ideologies and really break away. And I told you the 12th house represents foreign uh, countries. So what you'll probably find is, especially for you, you know, uh, first generation people here, a lot of your parents might have Saturn in the 12th. Because the next facet of um, Saturn in the 12th shows someone who recreates themselves in another country through hard work and discipline on service. All right. And just think about the jobs that some of your parents may uh, do or people who are um, immigrants may have to do here. The people who really keep society um, moving. This is Saturn in the 12th because it's like, think about it. I want, I want you guys to think about it. Say you're, you're in another country and you're looking here. Let's just use the United States. You're looking like America is looks like a palace compared to where you're at. The reality is coming to America, getting once you get here is going to require a lot of hard work, a lot of, you know, labor every day doing. And this is Saturn at its best. So it's really represented in those types of people 
okay, along their journey versus someone who's born right in this country, all right? But on the next side, the next Saturn in the 12th uh, person feels, um, they just, they feel like their family, like they just don't relate to their family in that, you know, they don't relate to their society or anything like that. It's like the next type of person has is looking for their identity because overall, Saturn wants you to create this identity, but one of these people just doesn't feel, they feel like a stranger in their surroundings. So it indicates someone who later in life, especially after their Saturn return, goes to another country and finally finds themselves on many different levels all right most and since it's a 12th house and it's is going to be spiritually invigorating all right so guys if you're like 30 or you're 28 and this saturn return is just um setting in okay evaluate your life and see what you can do all right because saturn represents restrictions and limitations so if this is you, I, I advise you to look at your restrictions and limitations and see what you can do within those, okay? And right now, as we speak, Saturn transits Sagittarius. So those of you who are going through your Saturn return, adventure, travel, pilgrimage is going to be a huge theme and really becoming disciplined about your beliefs. But that's another that's for another video. But back to Saturn in the 12th. This also, since it's it's a part of the 612 axis, it can represent someone who's a huge philanthropist or someone who who does um like volunteer or missionary work in other countries. All right. So this is another facet of where one can find itself later in life. You know, like all the time you have people who you know, did, um, you know, accounting, uh, accountants, lawyers, all types of jobs for years. And then this is usually around 37, 38 when the progression happens. They need the transition to the next phase of their life. And then this is where Saturn really becomes active. So you can see lots of people um, doing humanitarian work. And if you're not here yet, okay, these are... Um, Thing, things to come for you, all right? So, guys, this is my interpretation of Saturn in the 12th house. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.